I've got to share this with you. The Pasuk says by Noah, Vayikach Shem Vayefet et Hasimla. Shem and Yefet took the blanket. Vayasimu al Shechem Shnehem. They placed it on their shoulders. Vayelchu achoranit. And they walked backwards. Vayechasu et ervat avihem. They covered over their father who was not dressed. Ufnehem achoranit. And their faces were backwards. Vervat avihem lo ra'u. And their father's undressed state they did not see. You gotta hear this piece from the Al Sheikh. It's unbelievable. He asks, first of all, let's review. They're walking backwards with the blanket on their shoulder. Obviously, they can't see their father. Why does the Pasuk tell you that they didn't see their father in his state of being undressed? Second question, why does it then tell us, Upnehem achoranit, and their faces were backwards? If you're walking backwards, your face is backwards. Why did he need to tell me that? Listen to what the Al Sheikh suggests. He says as follows. There was a point in time when they were walking backwards when they had to turn around to be able to cover over their father. They wanted to make sure that they wouldn't look. Says the Al Sheikh, but why didn't they just close their eyes? He says that looking at something doesn't only happen with your eyes, it also happens with your face. And therefore, closing their eyes was not enough. So even when they turned this way towards their father, they turned their face in the complete opposite direction. So their faces, Lora'u, never saw, not just their eyes. Well, the Al Sheikh explains that each person has the Tselem Elohim, a image of God that is placed upon them to make them holy. That is their Kedusha. And where does the Tselem Elohim reside? Here, on their face indicating that Shmirat Ha'inayim is not only about your eyes, it's about your whole face. If your face saw something, then you saw something, even if your eyes didn't. My friends, maybe that's why the Gemara tells us that if a person goes to a place where there's something inappropriate and he does not look, but he didn't need to go that way, still he's called a Rasha. Most people interpret that Gemara and they say that it means because why did you put yourself in a state of Nisayon? But according to the Al Sheikh, we have another explanation. You didn't need to be there even if you closed your eyes. Your face still saw it. Maybe we need to stop focusing only on Shmirat Ha'inayim, not having my eyes be where they shouldn't. And we could think a little bit more about not having our selves be where we should. And then you'll be blessed with the blessing of Shem and Yafet, the bracha that Noah gives his children for that sensitivity. We all need bracha. Sometimes it's about being in the right place, not just in the right time. <laughs>